Alright, so now that you have already understand about type of glue system, we will see on how to expand your first law equation that involving only heat and work and your mass remain constant. So when you expand this energy term over here, it will become Q in minus your Q out plus your work in minus your work out which is equal to change of your internal energy plus the change of kinetic energy and the change of your potential energy and since <coughs> and since the closed system doesn't involve any movement the flow isn't flowing therefore we can cancel out the term of kinetic energy and because of there's no eleva elevation difference inside the closed system so we will cancel out the potential energy so the only that's left is your internal energy now this is the toughest part when you want to eliminate the terms that you are not going to use this will be depends on the question given to you so if you want to expand this u term this will be q in minus q out plus work in minus your work out is equal to internal energy of your final state minus your internal energy of your initial state all right from this onwards there are a few things that we are going to consider in order to eliminate some terms that will not going to be used. It will depend on the cases that we are going to analyze. Alright, the first one, let's say the question asks you, we have a rigid body where you have a heat being applied into the system so basically you have a q in and if the question tells you that you have an electric fence inside your system meaning that you are going to have a work in so in this case if it doesn't mention that heat rejection is happening inside the system so you can cancel out your Q not term and since electric fan is the work input to the system so you are going you are not going to have your work out so finally from the equation what's left is Q in plus work in which is equal to your internal energy of final state minus internal energy at your initial states. So now uh, we are going to see if the working flame is it vapor. In this case, either water or your refrigerant R134A. So when you want to solve for U2 or in your U1, you will refer to your property table.
However, if your working place is the ideal gas start, or which is in other words, is your air, or the list that inside your TA table A2, you will use your change of internal energy is actually specific heat at constant volume times with your change of temperature which is T2 minus your T1 or in other words your T final minus your T initial next example will be a moving boundary work so if the questions uh, give an information that during the process heat is rejected to your surroundings meaning that you are going to have Q out and because of this moving boundary so we are going to have a moving boundary work and this type of moving boundary work will depend on that five process that happening so, if you take an example in the case of moving boundary work at constant pressure. So your work boundary will be constant pressure final volume minus your initial volume. So, so what will happen to your general equation of your first law is that you are going to cancel out your Q in. There's no work over here but definitely you are going to have your moving boundary work so finally the equation will becomes negative Q out plus your WB is equal to U2 minus U1 or you can rearrange this to become negative Q out plus your P V2 minus V1 is equal to U2 minus U1. And again, after you have this equation, you need to analyze your working fluid. If it's water or vapor, so you can read directly from the table. If it's not, then you will need to use your U is equal to CV change of T.